ladies. Oh my God, have I got some amazing, amazing news to announce. Right now, live on the GayGuideNetwork.com is the VIP Caitlyn Jenner VIP giveaway. I said VIP twice, didn't I? Hmm. And it's funny because I looked down and I almost wanted to edit that out, but I'm like, it's kind of so big that I want to leave the VIP, VIP, VIP giveaway in there. I, I am so excited to partner up with Sean Pru, Sean Pru Media, the GayDiagNumber.com, and SiriusXM Canada Talks Channel 167 to make this event happen. I need to talk about some of our sponsors that are coming on board. I need to talk about Trans Fellas and Cohen, who is going to be donating a binder. I need to talk about my very dear friend, Mika Styles, who, if the if the person who wins is a trans woman and needs hair, is going to supply the hair for that person. Um, I need to talk about my very, very good friend, Mark, who's been doing my hair for a very long time and putting up with my crap um, because he is going to come on board and do the winner's hair. Whether man or woman, they're going to get styled up by my stylist which is kind of amazing um you know also finally I can say this out loud um Rexall Rexall has decided to come on board and give the winner a gift basket of our private label be better brand um to Natalie and to Monica at Rexall, I am so incredibly honored and humbled that you have decided to come on board and help out with this event. I, in the humblest part of my heart, all I wanna do is make someone's life better. I don't have a great life. I've never had a great life. It's not too late for me. I mean, my great life could be out there somewhere. I mean, it's okay, right? But I just feel as though if I can, do something with my life, if I can touch someone's life in a way that inspires them to do better and to want more, then I've done something right. Nothing in my life was in vain. I've been through my own trials and tribulations. I went through um, severe depression that caused me to start using drugs. Um, I've been clean for a very long time. I haven't done drugs in a very long time. Um, but when I was younger and I was trying to cope with who I was as, as a trans woman, uh, you know, 25 years ago, the education didn't exist that exists now for trans people. And so back then, we were sort of left to our own devices. And my own device turned out to be uh, drugs and alcohol. Um, I want to say this, and I said this on Sean's show, I... I think that whatever coping mechanism you use is a valid coping mechanism. But here's the thing. A coping mechanism can turn into a crutch very quickly. A coping mechanism is meant to get you from one sort of hurdle to the next and sort of help make it a little easier. However, a crutch turns into a lifelong thing and you will constantly need it. Um, I am very lucky that my coping mechanisms were very quick and left. Um, but... For some of you out there, it's not like that. And that's the reason why I wanted to do this contest. And that's the reason I wanted to give the ticket away. Because there's someone out there right now struggling so much so that their coping mechanism isn't working. And they may take drastic measures. And before that happens, I would like to hopefully um, help change their mind. There are a few other sponsors coming on board. Um, I need to thank Joey and Monty, who are going to help start promoting this at FML um, here in Toronto on Church Street. Thank you so much, Joey and Monty. You have been um, incredible supporters of mine over the years that I've known you. Uh, it hasn't been long, but I feel as though we are a part of a change in that community and that change is a positivity towards one another and really genuinely helping each other out in the community. Um, I'd like to hopefully think that other people are going to come on board and make this event even bigger than it is. I'm trying to work on trying to get dinner for the winner as well. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be happening at the moment, but there's a few weeks until the end and you may just be surprised with something. Oh, also, hold on just a second. So for those of you who know, and those of you who don't know, my condo that I live in in downtown Toronto is literally, let me count in my head, <laughs> three blocks 
from Roy Thompson Hall, which is where Caitlyn Jenner will be speaking on February 22nd next year. So the winner will actually get our exclusive suite here in my condo. You'll get a one night stay here in the condo. Uh, it's got two queen size beds. So if you're underage and you need to bring a parent, they are welcome to stay in the room with you. Um, there's a full kitchen, all that other great stuff. So you'll have all the amenities available to you just like living at your own home, except you'll be in mine. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I really want this to make a difference for someone and I hope that it does. And I hope that with all of your help, every single one of my lovelies out there, I hope that you'll share this far and wide. Um, transportation will not be paid. Here's the only sort of Mm, catch 52 I think is what it is I don't know catch whatever it is uh, is that you'll have to find your own way, own way into Toronto or you'll, or you'll have to be in the GTA to win we're not closing it down to people that aren't here um, however I'm, I'm guessing that there will be some a stipulation that says that if you are the winner and you don't confirm your travel plans before a certain date unfortunately a new winner will be will be um, will be uh, chosen. Please don't think that you can't submit your story because we want all of your stories to come in. And we will make sure that by popular vote, the winner will get a ticket and they'll get to meet Caitlyn Jenner. Um, I just hope I don't fangirl out too much. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be like, ah, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> She'll probably have some sort of like, what's that? What's that thing when you can't go near someone? Um, some sort of restraining order against me. I'll walk in and be like, oh, you're Samantha Lowson. Yes, ma'am. Can you just walk this way with us, please? And thank you. Just over here in the corner. There's a little booth there you're going to stay in. You're going to stay behind the line. And when Miss Jenner walks past, you're not going to touch her. All right. Okay, good. You just sit in that box there, ma'am. We'll be back for you later. Uh-huh. Right. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen because I've been I've been sort of plugging this and really, really, you know, out there. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that Caitlin uh, has seen my name involved in quite a few things that she's doing right now. Um, that's the thing about me. Listen, I tend to support a lot of things and I tend to be very supportive. I just think that uh, as a part of a community that that sometimes just doesn't support anyone. I feel it's sort of my job to support as much as I can to those that I believe in. And I believe in Caitlyn Jenner. I believe in her story and I believe in her transition. Um, you know, recently I saw someone posting something about, uh, um, Oh, what was it? Uh, that, that she was a mockery to women or a mockery to trans women. And, um, I don't think that's true. I, I think that people are being really hard on her because she's in the media. Um, and I think that that kind of sucks. It, it sucks because I think that she deserves a lot more um, recognition than she's getting. Um, I think that the conversations that have started in middle America homes it is kind of amazing. I think the fact that she's 65 years old, turned 66, I think, or turning 66, and uh, she's transitioned is kind of a really big deal because we, we so often forget that when someone is a senior citizen that they still have a life and they still have dreams. And I think it's brilliant that she's done this at her age. Um, you know, yeah, I just think it's brilliant. I am... I'm so excited to meet her. And who would have known that the person that I reached out to, Sean Prue, I didn't reach out to anyone else but Sean to do this contest with. And I had no idea until about a week later when Sean messaged me and asked me to keep something in confidence. And I said, absolutely. And then he said he was the one introducing Caitlyn Jenner, which I thought was kind of amazing that he happened to be the person that I was... Um, that I contacted. So that's kind of amazing. The world sort of works in mysterious ways. Everything comes together exactly how it's supposed to. And I really feel as though this year, while it has had its ups and downs, has, uh, has really come together so far nicely. I can only hope that the winner is as appreciative of winning as I am to give it away. Uh, to each and every one of you, I love you all so much. And I 
I know I say this all the time, but I am truly and on uh, and and honestly humbled and honored that you take time out of your day to spend it with me. Um, I love you all so much. Uh, as always, please never, ever, ever forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye. Thank you all for watching this video. And please don't forget to comment down below. Don't be shy. Share to your Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys all later. And remember, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>